This is our proposed information system to improve call routing and dynamic call flow control for the travel company. The objective established for this project is to design a system to improve the function of a major travel company's call management centre. The current model has been deemed outdated and inefficient and a more streamlined automated approach is required. In the existing system, relationship managers interface with customers through the internal call management system. Customer allocation is handled in a disorganised, unoptimised manner and this is causing a loss in customers due to needlessly long wait periods and a lack of relevant information and, consequently, economic loss. The proposed system should automate and integrate the call allocation and routing process and provide relationship managers with specific customer demographic analysis such that they can tailor their conversation to be most effective and relevant. The key stakeholders for this new system include the customer, both inbound and outbound, the relationship managers and the call management center. Um, for the design thinking principles perspective, um, the process of design thinking principle consists with the consists of five stage, which is advertise, define, ideate, prototype and test. The first two steps in the process can help to approach the problem and empathize means understanding the needs of pupil and customer and helping to define the problem. In this situation, the travel company have too many holiday packages with different properties and HRM has good and in-depth knowledge about certain travel package. Therefore, when they meet customer who want to find out information about holiday package that are beyond their reach, uh, they can advise customers in the most detailed and specific way. As for customer, they also do not get the information they want to find out. So I am are not taking advantage of their potential customer and customers are not satisfied with their needs to understand the needs of both sides, creating support tools to create existing customer profile and provide to is absolutely necessary and reasonable. Our user stories formed the foundation from which we designed our solution as we felt they best encapsulated the needs and wants of the key stakeholders. We ended up with 17 user stories in total, some from each stakeholder. Here are six of our high priority user stories. These cover the preeminent functional requirements of the proposed system, which include payment, retrieval of the target list, access to relevant information, automated surveil, profile management, and score generation. Uh, for the assumption, while investigating and understanding the system, there were several key features that we felt were missing in order for the system to function. Uh, our, our assumptions are based on our initial readings of the project outline. This is what we assume about the existing and new system. However, they are subject to change and are expected to resolve later in the project. The first is um, the relationship manager can create a customer profile using the profile tool. Um, and uh, the first assumption we made about the system that the customer can the customer include the inbound and outbound can uh, have a chance to match with the RM that they have served before. And the relationship managers can edit their profile and uh, it can make a purchase on behalf of the customer. And it will ach achieve a sales involves a purchase by the customer. For the customer, new new customer will be automatically be allocated low priority and we have enough human resources to complete the work during a short time period and uh, the last is um, it doesn't have any difficulties during the working process For this project, we separated our use case diagrams into outbound and inbound customers to provide a clear understanding of the requirements related to each user. 
For our inbound customers, it helped to visualize a system from the relationship manager's perspective as they were the main user of the system. Our primary actor for this diagram is obviously our relationship manager as they use the system directly to achieve their goal of making a sale. Our secondary actors are the customers, call management center and automatic voice response. These actors provide the system assistance to achieve the primary actor's goals. As you can see, this diagram is similar to the inbound use case diagram, except that the relationship manager requests a target list and makes outbound calls to these contacts. This is another important diagram to describe the dynamic aspects of the information system, modeling the flow from one activity to another. Firstly, we identified candidate use cases and then modeled the workflows between each of them. In this instance, we have the process flow of the inbound customer. As seen, the customer initiates the phone call, call management center identifies them as new or existing, and then allocates them either to the interactive voice response or straight to a relationship manager. This will depend on the score of the customer and the relationship manager's score. This is our class diagram. It demonstrates the classes, their attributes, operations, and the relationships existent in our proposed system. We have 12 classes, payment, booking, holiday package, skill, skill matrix, customer, questionnaire, call, relationship manager, script, call management center, and target list. Each instance of these classes will be assigned a unique ID and whichever attributes are specified here. The operations support the functionality of our system. The relationships indicate how the classes will interact. The most connected classes are booking, customer, call, relationship manager, and the management center. This is one of our collaborative diagrams. It is used to define and clarify the roles of the objects involved and how they perform a particular flow of events of a use case. In this instance, customers can make a booking over the phone with a relationship manager who can offer holiday packages, check availabilities, relay this information, and then conduct a booking and verification of their payment. Then the use case is completed. For this project, we implemented the Scrum development process to help facilitate teamwork, accountability, and iterative progress towards our defined goal. A key reason we use Scrum is because of its transparency. Everyone commits their own work asynchronously, enabling free-flowing, honest and open communication between our team members. Another main reason is that it fosters incremental development. For example, we started with initial use cases, activity, class diagrams and collaborative diagrams, and then iteratively improved upon each model, each time submitting work products to GitHub. We also conducted Scrum meetings weekly as a way to facilitate discussion between team members. We discussed the tasks that were completed in the prior week and tasks that needed to be completed for the next week. We completed sprint review meetings by analysing the backlog not completed in the prior sprint and adding these to our next sprint. And we completed sprint review retrospective meetings by reviewing processes that worked well, what created the most problems, and then rectifying these for future sprints. for competitive advantage and possible if, I, if the project fail uh, by developing a new information system the following competitive advantage can be achieved save time because the system will automatically dial for RMs according to the customer target list created by the system in particular it will reach potential customer in depth meet the needs of customer and bring greater revenue um, some of the best ways to reduce costs and increasing the level of customer service is to ensure the necessary knowledge, training and tools are available for the agents to react appropriately to customer needs. Um, if the system fails, the, bi the, bi the business will have to spend a lot of money and time to invest in this project. Moreover, the way of operation is not improved can lead to a reduction in the number of potential customers, thereby reducing the company revenue and profit. 